The wedding planning is in full swing. How do you feel? It's your last day ever at daycare. I feel a little nervous. Today's the make or break hurt. Today's knowing if this venue is going to work or not. You've got a shirt. Can you imagine? He's like, oh my gosh, I've got a shirt. Oh, yeah. It smells nice. No! <laughs> Are you excited? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Very exciting guys. I have just like, we've booked in heaps actually, haven't we hun? Yeah. The wedding planning is in full swing. It is happening. We have picked a date, which the date has a very sentimental meaning to it as well. So after the wedding, I'll explain all of that to you guys. It's not long away. It's literally like seven months away which is quite a short period of time, I feel like, to organize an entire wedding. Like, it's not that long. But I feel like that's good because I feel like it doesn't give us much time to, you know, drag it out or something pop up or this happen. We're just like, that's it. Book in appointments, start getting it happening. So on Friday, we have booked in our first meeting. We're actually gonna go meet up with somebody who does like the beautiful big marquees because where we're doing it is going to be outside. We don't really wanna take the chance with the weather, but the marquees are beautiful. They're like real, I'll put some photos here for you guys. They're like big and white. You can like tie the things together, beautiful lighting. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go have a meeting with them on Friday um, and just see what they have to say. We've also got to check to make sure that the location has got enough room to like fit this all in, whether it can happen, whether we need two marquees, whether we need one, um, just all different info like that. So I'm so excited to go see them on Friday. And then I literally just then like two minutes ago have booked in my first wedding dress fitting. So the wedding dress fitting is happening on Monday. So it's literally Wednesday today. So Friday appointment about um, the marquee and then Monday afternoon, I'm gonna bring Miller along. I'm so excited, she's gonna absolutely love it. And then I've also got Kurt's mum coming and my mum going, so they're all gonna come along for the dress fitting. I've picked out five dresses from this place that I'm wanting to try on, so I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait, it's all just feeling so real. Like I feel like once we start getting like our dresses and things like that. It's just gonna like all just start to fall into place. So there's a lot to organize though. I've got a list of like 70 things that I need to organize and do. Firstly as well, like we need to also do up a little pack to ask our bridesmaids and groomsmen if they will be our bridesmaids and groomsmen. Um, so that's gonna be happening probably pretty soon. As soon as we know what's gonna happen with this marquee and make sure that this location will work. If we know this location will work and we can do it on that day, we'll be sending it out. Um, and invitations will probably not have to be far behind because even if it's in a month, Kurt, that's how long they take to get here. So if we make them up, that's only six months before the wedding. Yeah. So everything, everything is kind of really happening now. So we've already written up the whole guest list, which we've literally done all this in like three days, guys. It's going to be pretty big. But then your mom said to me like 30% of people probably won't turn up. Yeah, so at the moment I think the guest list is like 110, but mind you guys, there's only like 20 of our friends that are coming. Kurt and I both just have massive families. So like your mum, how many sisters and brothers does your mum have? Four, four. Four on either side. Yeah. So there's four siblings? Everyone's got four kids as well and then... Yeah, so they've got four siblings, then everyone's got heaps of kids, so there's heaps of cousins. And then on my mum and dad's side, my dad's got like five, there's five of them. And then my mum, there's three of them. So between the two of us, there's just like, there's so much family. <laughs> But also a lot of our family live away and things like that too. So I feel like a lot of them probably won't come, um, especially with the COVID. But I'm excited guys. I just wanted to pick up the camera, kind of fill you guys in, let you know where we're at. I'll pick it back up again when we are going to our appointment on Friday, bring you guys along. Um, obviously I won't be bringing it on Monday for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I don't want anyone to see my dress before the big day. Um, and secondly, I kind of think I just want to enjoy that. I think that's like one of those things I want to go to and really just soak everything in. I feel like I'm going to be really emotional. On the wedding dress try on day, I feel like I'm going to be really emotional. So I'm just kind of, it's a fine line of like wanting to share heaps and show you guys and take you on the journey, but also trying to let everything soak in and not have the pressure of having to film if I do just really want to be in the moment. Anyway, if you guys have any recommendations on, we still need to get a photographer. I've pretty much got my videographer sorted, I think. I need to, I've already, yeah, this is one from back in the day, so I need to email him and like see if these days and everything are fine with him um, but if you guys have like any recommendations on like photographers flowers anything that you guys use on your wedding day that you would recommend leave it down below because we need help but yeah I'm so excited I'm so excited that it's finally happening 
Good morning guys, today is a bit of a big day. So first up today is Miller's very last day at daycare. So this morning on the way to daycare, we're actually gonna go stop off in the shops and just get some chocolates and bits and pieces for her teachers that she's had over the years. And yeah, it's crazy. So she's got her last day of daycare today, then she's got one week at home. Um, and then on the Friday, she goes in for an hour for orientation. And then the Monday, that's it. She starts there full time. What's up, Ruby? Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Hi. drop Miller off at school. We've got to come home, get a few things sorted for the day. We've got Amber popping over to pick up some stock. And then we have our very first <laughs> wedding appointment. You look like you're in a wedding dress now. <laughs> honey, honey Maxi. Oh honey. Oh honey. Yeah, very Oh my first. God, I swear, maybe you <laughs> attract a mess with the kids. That was so fine when I walked up the stairs. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God. So anyways, I wanted to bring you guys along for the day because I feel like it's going to be such an exciting day. It's also going to be a big day because today's the make or break, Kurt. Today's knowing if this venue is going to work or not. So if this venue doesn't work, we're probably not even going to be able to do it on the date that we've picked, babe. Oh my God. Don't say that. I know, but it is like a, yeah. So we just got a fingers and toes and everything crossed for us, guys. We're hoping that it all goes to plan because we know exactly how we want to do it. Only thing that would let us down potentially is how many people we have and not being able to fit a marquee that size. We're going to have to see. Hopefully it's just fine. Hopefully they're like, yep, sweet. And then everyone's happy. Everything's good. Also, yesterday we finally put these shelves up. So as you guys know, literally since we first did the reno, since we first did this room, I've wanted these shelves here. And we've finally popped them up. So... I do need something more on this table. It's just not happening right now for you girls. As soon as we put something on that table, she is just ripping it down. We had like a nice big fruit bowl in there that's like similar to that basket up there, but she just ripped it straight down. So that's just not happening right now. But yeah, up here we've just popped like some nice little candles, a basket, a hanging plant. This was the one that was in the staircase. We've just moved it here. And then yeah, we got this. This is like a crystal um, jar we got for our engagement party. Actually, I think it was, babe. Our engagement party, we got that. Kurt says we need to fill it with some scotch. And then, yeah, just some nice books up there. Mila, how do you feel? It's your last day ever at daycare. I feel a little nervous. You feel a little nervous, do you, babe? How do you feel about going into the shop and getting your teachers some chocolates and special things for saying thank still, you? Still nervous. So what are you nervous about? I'm just nervous about in the class what I'm going to be. For today at daycare, or are you talking about big school? Big school. We already know what class you're going to be in, remember? I know, but... You just feel nervous up, up. That's fine, babe. Honestly, I felt nervous too. It's okay to feel nervous. And when you went there, when you went... I was fine once I went there. After a couple of days, I loved it. You're going to love it. Do you know why? Because you're so clever and you love playing with other people and you're going to meet so many new friends. Are you guys working in this morning? Work a girl and work a man. Ooh. Oh my gosh, guys, it's always the way today. Like, we never normally do this, but we've got to meet Amber back here to pick up some stock because we can't fit it all in our car. So, Amber's going to be here at 8 o'clock. It's now, what is it, Kurt, 7.30? Yeah. But we've got to run in and grab chocolates beforehand too. And then, like, it always just takes probably 15 minutes to get the kids in there. So we're literally going to be, like, trying to get here. And the kids, hey, keep going, like, I forgot oh. this. I want that. Run back in, run back out. But we're finally on our way. So first stop, chocolates. Got the goods. <laughs> Kearney's just making us a little takeaway coffee before we go. And I have just announced over on Instagram that we are now going up to a size 24. 
up. This is a huge deal for me. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time, but obviously being a small business comes a huge cost with doing things like this. So once every month we are coming out with a range that either goes from a size six to a size 20 or a six to a size 24, depending on what the supplier can do and what there's the most demand for. So I'm so excited about that. I'm so happy about that. Something that, ow, kitty's attacking me. Kitty, ah, 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 not my dress. Something that I have like always wanted to do. So yeah, it feels really, really good that it's happening. This is the dress that had the most demand by far for us to um, get to a size 24. So this is the one that we have just released. It's the Honey Maxi. You can wear it with the sleeves up like this. You can also wear it with the sleeves off the shoulder. It's pregnancy friendly. It's also breastfeeding friendly. It is just like, this is my all time favorite dress. I think this is my favorite dress we've ever, ever, ever had. So if there is anything on our website that you've seen and you would love to get in your size and it's not available in your size, let us know. Go message us over on Instagram, send us an email, let us know um, because it's so good to keep track of all of that and try to bring you guys exactly what you are wanting. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm so happy. Anyways, we're gonna run late to our appointment so I better hurry up. Don't attack me when I walk past. He loves this dress. No, he's attacking me every time I walk past him. Kitty, oh my gosh, he nearly knocked me down bloody stairs. Let's go do this, babe. First bit of wedding planning. Yeah. You left the tap running, do you mean to do that? No. No, we're in a rush. Got you under pressure here. Gee, you're pretty good at that froth, babe. There's also dresses hanging everywhere because this afternoon, um, we're planning on trying to shoot some of these dresses. So see how we go. What time we get back, we've also got stopping at the shop because Amber bought a bunch of boxes. We had the whole hallway. Oh, have you gotten in the car? We had about how many boxes? Probably 10 massive boxes here. And there's about 10 more coming today. Get to the gym too. Yeah, gotta to get to the gym. So our New Year's resolution was to try to get to the gym like three times a week. We haven't been that good so far, have we? <laughs> but there's just been things popping up. So yeah, today we're doing it. Kurt's forgotten like three things and I had to go back inside so many times. We literally, our appointment is at nine o'clock. So we have got like 12 minutes to get there. Lucky it is only about 12 minutes away, but we will get there like just on time. I'm the type of person that likes to be 15 minutes early. He forgot a shirt. Can you imagine? He's like, oh my gosh, I've got my shirt. <laughs> it's a bit better. Huh? It's a bit better. That would have been a bit weird. That <laughs> would have been very weird. It would have been a solo appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Good start to this marriage, you know? Exciting, exciting. I'll try to film some bits and pieces on my phone if I can. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna go. Yay, guys! It looks like it's all gonna happen. It looks like it's all fine. We've got another, I've got a busy day Monday. Monday morning, nine o'clock. Um, they're gonna go and measure it all up. So we'll go meet them out there at nine o'clock and see what they have to say, see how it's gonna go. Then Monday afternoon, I'm going dress shopping. <laughs> Big day Monday. But it looks beautiful. I feel like that's, you're happy with that? That's yeah. the type of thing, yeah. We both just looked at them like, oh my gosh, we're, um, it's just like the exact look. We're also gonna get like extra fairy lights and stuff like that just to really set the mood. But it's exactly what we're after. I filmed a little bit in there, so I'll insert it here and show you guys what it kind of looks like. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. So anyways, it looks like it's all gonna work. So probably the next thing for us to do now is look into catering. Look into catering. Yeah. On our way to the shop and Amber needs some ink. So quick stop in at good old Harvey Norman to grab some ink. And then running into the shop, time to go home, do some photos, go to the gym and hopefully get it all done. Bit of a pickle, no ink, no ink. They don't have the one that we need. So we're gonna go try cartridge world. And if they don't have it, then we're gonna go big W. And if they don't have it, JB Hi-Fi are already out. Amber told me they're already out. Mm. Then we're gonna have to go up to Burley. <laughs> that would not be good for today. I know, but we have to get it because she can't get the orders out without yeah. ink and there's none at all left. So this is why I always say, you know, let me know when there's one packet so I can order more. That is the Virgo in me. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Smell? What is it? We don't know. I honestly don't know. We came in yesterday, me and Manny were wigging out. Well, like, has it leaked? No, do you know? <laughs> it's something, you just know, it's something, isn't it? Do, did you just put a bin bag there? No, there was cardboard there. Was that the stuff that I threw there? Maybe, that cardboard? But there was only cardboard, so I don't really get it. Nah, because I think there was um, empty <laughs> in the cardboard. What was it? <laughs> just rubbish. Oh, yeah. It smells nice. No! <laughs> I thought it was a leak from the line. I, <laughs> I come in last night. Uh, oh. Speed up everywhere. I'm straying it with the hand <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Um, 
Oh dear. Um, we could Novak it. Are you kidding? Don't put that on it. So I was gonna rub it. Use it dead or wipe. What did you put on it, Kurt? Um, I don't know. Oh, he's putting another thing on it. Uh, the boss really guy. Did. What have you done? You've done hand soap, hand sanitizer, liquid detergent. Oh, yeah, etiquette. Oh, you can't put that on there. Oh, that's not the best one. Oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Oh, that's not the best no ink there so now we've got to go across to tweed city this is our days like summed up we like have all these things planned and then things like this just pop up all the time um it's not a leak it was kurt's dirty old bin juice <laughs> put on the ground <laughs> so we've like added all this stuff on it cleaned it all up it smells fine now but if it's not any good we'll bring the bissel up there and do like a proper carpet clean or i'll just cut the carpet out. or just cut the carpet out and lay a rug down but yeah across we go to tweed city try to find this ink if we can't find it here then yeah this, this sort of stuff happens all the time, guys. Like, we will have, like, I don't know, six hours when the kids are at daycare or seven hours, and you, like, think you can get so much done, and then, like, things just, like, pop up. It's a lot of things in that small amount of time for us to get done. Fingers crossed they've got it here. Mm. Please have it here. Please have it here. First check, Kmart. No luck. No luck, guys. <laughs> Next shop we go. <laughs> Yes, JV High Five pulled through with the goods. We got Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Run back to the shop, drop it off, and we ordered like a whole nother pack too. So we've got ink to survive us for like probably, I don't know. This one's not Amber said. Amber said we only just saw this one not long ago. It's and two, it's gone. We go through so much ink. That's laughing at me because I said I'm getting a bacon and meat muffin, but <laughs> Drake's on you because I'm not I'm not kidding. I'm getting a bacon and meat muffin. <laughs> I'm driving. I'm so hungry. I don't care. I will literally handbrake you. Oh. I need a bacon and egg muffin, or I'm gonna get hangry. I'll get I'll get angry soon, and then you'll be like, "Damn, someone feed this girl." Yeah, I'm at the point of no return until I eat. Hey, place order. Um, can I just get two bacon and egg McMuffins, please? So worth the stop. Yeah. So worth the stop. this video that I'm filming, get all the footage off there. Kurt's gonna add some stock to a spreadsheet, so he's gonna start adding all that pricing stock up. And then we're gonna try to go out to the gym, <laughs> see how we go. And we've got like, honestly, a bunch more stock turning up. It'll either turn up at around about one o'clock, so in like two hours, or later on the Sava at around about three o'clock. If it turns up at three o'clock, we'll just leave it till next week because we'll go get the kitties. Um, but if it turns up sooner, then we'll have all that to enter in as well. What else? There's something else that I wanted to do. We were trying to record another um, episode of Cooking with Kiara and Kurt, but honestly, just at the moment, it's just kind of taking the back burner. Hey, it will probably next week too because Miller's starting school next no, week. No, sorry, next week Miller's off. So next week we have um, Miller at home all week, so we probably won't film any next week. And then the following week, we're planning on trying to film like three of them. So like just smash them out, get them all happening. And I think what we're going to do is actually film the whole season, then put it up. Um, and then when it's going up, start trying to record season two. Miller might be able to get in on one. Miller might be able to get in on one. Yeah, maybe on the Friday. Yeah. Like, I'm going to try otherwise. Next time we do it, we just do like two or three in a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is kind of just like, this is pretty much just like an average Friday, isn't it? Yeah, a couple really? of hiccups and then... Well, the ink was a bit of a hiccup. But this is going to be what it's going to be like, especially now, the doing the wedding as well. <laughs> Got to make you one time. Yeah? An almond butter on a wholemeal bread sandwich. Almond butter on a wholemeal bread sandwich. Nice. I just had a, like a half. It's nice. Yummy. I drop all these to my phone now. Text messages. Check there's none from Baker. No. There is though a couple of text messages about Milla. We were gonna go up on Tuesday to do her cleft appointment, but now because of the C word, they're doing everything via telecommunication. So it's like all through your phone. So we're gonna do that. And then they're gonna just refer her to go get an X-ray done um, to have a look at what's happening inside her mouth with her cleft. So they've just sent me a couple of messages. Just started getting some bits and pieces off my camera and delivery. This is one of three we have today. So one has come. <laughs> Oh, I think that's that strapless one, Kurt. I'm excited to see that's this cool. one. Yeah, that one's really pretty. Oh, this one. Yes. 
Nice. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five. If they all come, we'll probably end up running back up to the shop again and dropping it back up there. Because I'll go up. I'll yeah. Nappies and then probably something. We'll see. We'll see. Um, see what turns up for the rest of the day. We're not to the gym, are we? <laughs> we can. It's so hard, eh? Honestly, this is what we do. They're just. It's just like. I want to go too, but why don't we go right before we pick the kids up? So we're just picking them up. I'm gonna sweat again, getting them into the car. Well, I'll go. See if he'll go without coming with me. Bet to you win. I have got my gym clothes on because I'm doing it. I'm going to the gym. I'm just really cooking some lunch now. It is quarter to quarter to what? Quarter to two. Quarter to two. Quarter to two. So I'm gonna cook this, spend half an hour more doing computer work, and then I'm gonna to run to the gym and pick the kids up by like three o'clock. <sighs> Today's been a day. <laughs> Today's been a day. Take him to go to the groceries with us. Hopefully there's actually groceries in the shop because the last like three times I've been, there's not even been any groceries. But I'll show you guys what I'm making us for lunch. I'm actually probably burning it. This is mushrooms and zucchini with coconut aminos and herbamant salt. And... Just some chicken sizzles that are probably, oh, okay, not bad. Heading to the gym, I'm getting it done. Even if it's like a short session, like it's going there for 20 minutes or so, it just feels good to actually go and do it. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I feel like today's been a bit crazy. <laughs> Welcome to our life. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.